Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to another antenna testing video. Uh, I got one of these cheap uh, GPS antennas from China. Uh, so we're going to look at that. Uh, we're going to look at a couple of things, uh, S11, SWRs, impedances, and things like that. So this is connected to my VNA, as you can see right here. And this is what a display would look like. So let me, let me play, around, play around with this play a little bit and I'll show you different measurements. So the first thing when it's connected, I want to look at since it's a single port device, first thing that you always want to look at is your S11. So when you look at your S11, uh, simply go to measure and uh, S, S parameter S11. So this is what an S11 looks like for this particular GPS antenna that you see here, right? So it says it's supposed to operate at uh, 1575.42 megahertz uh, it's an active antenna because you're providing voltages as well so uh, let's look at it 1575 so let's go to my frequency let's go bring my marker in 1575 mega this is where it's at s11 1575 so at 1575 mega you're getting about negative 20 db so that's pretty good uh, this is what I want, but you will see also a lot of resonance at different points as well. You have also resonance at this point as well. If you were to click here, I believe, let me bring in my marker too. So I'm seeing another resonance at a major dip at 6.3. Let's go to marker number three. And I'm also seeing a dip, major dip at 7.74 gigahertz. So this is what S11 looks like. I can go to my format then. I can go to my measure. Uh, let me just look at my display first and let me change this to a split screen so I can see multiple displays at a time. So just simply go to display, split. Uh, let's get like uh, triple screens. So the first graph is S11. In a second graph, I want to look at, let's look at SWR. So let's go to my measure. Uh, let's go to my format, measure, click S11, don't forget to click S11, format, I want to look at SWR, see, still, it's looking a little bit shady, so you got to play around with the scale, go to scale, make that scale a little bit higher, so you can see this, right here, I think, or this, this is good enough, and let's bring in my markers, and let's go to about 1575. Sorry, let's go to my uh, marker one. Marker one, 1575 mega. So somewhere around 1575 mega. Uh, sorry, uh, this marker is somewhere. So at 1575 mega, I'm playing around with this frequency right here. You're getting at about an SWR of, okay, 1575, 1.24, 1.21. So that's good enough. Here we're gonna look at our uh, impedances. So let's go to measure S11 definitely. And you wanna look at Z. S11. So ZS11, this is an impedance that I'm looking at. Let's go to my marker tab uh, quickly and let's bring marker in and let's go to this 1575 mega. And this is at 1575, uh, it's looking at somewhere around 55, uh, 55 ohms. Uh, I can also bring in another display in diagram. Uh, trace and diagram. Uh, let's go here to this trace. Go to measure. Let's go and bring S11. Let's go to my oh, YS11. I can also look at my admittances and then I can just simply go to my frequency, bring in my marker in. Marker 1, 1575 mega. So at 1575 mega, you're getting about 17.99. Uh, milli Siemens, so, and I, as I know, impedance, so my impedance is 55 ohms, 
my admittance is 17.98. So 1 divided by 17.99. And that is because it's milli, I'll move three places to my right. One, two, three. So it's 55 ohms. And exactly we're getting about 55 ohms. So this is how you're going to test your antenna. A cheap antenna uh, that costs like less than $2, I believe. Yeah, I think $3. This is what cost me from China. Amazing. And this is how you measure it. So I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.